Hello everyone, I am Dr. Joydeep Ghosh. I am a consultant medical oncologist at Tata Medical Center, Kolkata. I am here today to talk a few words about colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer, which basically comprises of colon and rectal cancer, although both are different diseases, but they share some common properties. Uh, colon cancer is nowadays very common in our uh, routine urban world and we do see a lot of patients coming to our outdoor with, with the diagnosis of colorectal cancer. There are some risk factors which are associated with a higher risk of developing colon cancer. For example, the most common ones are obesity, dietary habits like increased intake of red meat. Uh, there are some other metabolic conditions which also uh, lead to higher chances of having a colorectal cancer. There are some uh, genetic causes. Here I want to mention that uh, we generally tend to always uh, take genetics as one of the common causes but uh, fortunately genetic cause of colorectal cancer is very less it is around 5 to 10 percent uh, and most of the cases are uh, they, they, they develop sporadically and they have no link with the genes uh, the most common symptoms of colorectal cancer are uh, basically a change in the bowel uh, pattern so for example, if the, the colon is a large structure and depending on what location the tumor starts developing, we have difference in the uh, symptoms at presentation. For example, if the patient is having a cancer in the, arising in the right side of the colon, the symptoms are usually a prolonged anemia uh, for which the patient might require recurrent blood transfusion and the cause of the loss of blood is not found out and then somebody does a colonoscopy and finds that there is a mass or uh, there is a tumor in the colon. That's how it comes to the diagnosis. Uh, on the other hand, if somebody is having colon cancer of the left side, uh, where the stool is more formed uh, and more solid compared to the right side, the usual symptoms are a change in the bowel habit, for example, increased uh, frequency of stools or a new onset constipation or the stools which are mixed with blood or sometimes there is a lump on the left side of the abdomen which, which uh, may be because of the uh, bent up stool or sometimes because of the tumor itself. So depending on the site of tumor, the symptoms differ. So my advice to everyone would be if you are having any of these symptoms which are there for a prolonged period of time, you should consult your physician for a detailed workup of uh, what can be the cause because these can be an early symptoms of colorectal cancer. Colon cancer just like many other cancers are usually of four stages. Uh, the stage 1, 2 and 3 uh, means that the tumor is located either in the colon or they have spread only to the surrounding area. But if it is stage 4, uh, it, that means that the, colon, that the cancer has spread from the initial colon area to the rest of the body, which means it can be liver, it can be lungs, it can be any other parts of the body. As long as it is uh, stage 1, 2 and 3, uh, colon cancer is usually treatable and uh, curable in most of the situations. And uh, especially if it is stage 1 and 2, it is curable in, in a very high percentage of cases. In stage 3 also with surgery followed by chemotherapy, there is a significant chance that the person might be cured forever. But in stage 4 cancers, the chances of cure are very low. Although we do see very small percentage of patients who can be cured, suppose somebody who is having the cancer spread to the liver, we do the surgery of both the colon as well as the uh, tumor in the liver and give them chemotherapy. So that way we can treat some uh, stage 4 cancers with a curative intent but largely most of the stage 4 cancers are incurable. So my advice would be that we should pick up the colon cancer if somebody is having so by properly addressing the, the symptoms of colon cancer and if picked up at an early stage we can treat the colon cancer with surgery plus or minus uh, chemotherapy after the surgery that depends on the report of the surgery and uh, even if we are unable to pick up the uh, colon cancer at an early stage and the, pa and the patient is diagnosed at stage 4 in those situations we have multiple options of chemotherapy as well as targeted therapy and immunotherapy the field of chemotherapy and targeted therapy in colorectal cancer has significantly uh, improved in the last few uh, decades and with appropriate therapy in many situations, even in stage 4, although we cannot cure, we can 
actually improve the survival to almost three to four years and sometimes more than that uh, depending on various other factors like the patient's uh, general condition, the, the uh, way the tumor cells reacts to the um, chemotherapy, the type of the tumor or the origin of the tumor whether it is left sided or right sided. We also do some molecular tests which helps us to decide what form of targeted therapy we are going to add over and above chemo. So taking all this into account we have a very good way of deciding what is best for a particular patient and we offer that to our patients and with appropriate treatment uh, even stage 4 colon cancer patients can survive for almost 3 to 4 years in some situations. There are some subset of colon cancers which have a very poor survival because they are these cancers are very aggressive and they have certain mutations in them which makes them very aggressive. So despite all our best efforts, sometimes they might not survive for more than one, one and a half years, but that is of course a small percentage. A large chunk of the patients can have a very good survival with appropriate treatment. So uh, with that, uh, I would conclude my talk on colon cancers and I wish you all good health and please do take care of your symptoms. If the symptoms are persisting, please consult your physician and take appropriate steps accordingly. Thank you.